I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, no. I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, okay, I'll catch you later then. Egrets are the worst, and Algernon Wasp, Arthur's new friend in Chapter 4, needs a lot of them for all of his fancy hats. I'm your friendly neighborhood Super Antonio, and please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you would enjoy seeing more of my Red Dead Redemption 2 content. Egrets seem to spawn more readily before we activate this mission, and it would be to your benefit if you want to complete this request with the least amount of pain to start collecting egrets in Chapter 2. However, we don't do things the easy way on this channel, and while Arthur really, really hates egrets, he has a couple spots that are consistent spawn locations. Here is his list. He wants five little egret plumes, five reddish egret plumes, five snowy egret plumes, and 15 lady of the night orchids. We will be dealing with the orchids in another video. This one is all about the egrets. Egrets are found by water in the swamps, protected by alligators and occasionally the night folk. Here is a snowy egret and a little egret. I'll make this easy. Just be on And here is the map. We are between the Kamasa River and the Bee of Bayou Noir. You will find all the egrets you need on both sides of this railroad bridge. However, you will not find them all at once, and you will be returning to this location constantly. We shall call this location Bridge 1. And here is Arthur's second egret location and another little egret. And your map, south of Caliga Hall at the mouth of the Lanahasi River and the home of the legendary Sturgeon. You will also find all the egrets you need here, but again, not all at once. 
Note that this location also features a train bridge. Egrets seem to like trains. Don't ask me why. We shall call this location Bridge 2. And here's a snowy in the same area. And here is your exact location. Also a cormorant, which we don't need, but we can sell the feathers to the trapper for a little extra cash. We could always use more money, to quote someone back at camp. Yep. Yeah. And then back to the first location, Arthur will pick up some spoonbill plumes. Algernon will need them in a future request. He's probably Arthur's most demanding friend outside of camp, and we might as well pick them up now. Also, another snow egret. And your map. And then a quick side trip to Strawberry to pick out a brindle thoroughbred. We are technically hunting, and I found thoroughbreds to be excellent hunters, in terms of I seem to be able to find three-star animals more frequently with a thoroughbred. 
This is, of course, my own personal experience. The evidence is strictly anecdotal, and your experience may vary widely. However, with egrets, we need every edge we can think of, and for Arthur, a brindle thoroughbred seems obvious. Let's move on. Come back soon. That's a good It's all right, girl. Yeah. Another snowy egret back at Bridge 2. And then returning to the same location, Arthur found a bunch of snowy egrets. Arthur is using the Lancaster for stopping power, accuracy, and multiple rounds. I know it's overkill, we could easily use a varmint rifle or the bow, perhaps even small game arrows if we cared about three stars, but all we need are the plumes, and Arthur really, really hates egrets. Perhaps even more than John hates condors. Let's move on. Another little egret at Bridge 1. Also, another reddish egret and your map. I feel the reddish egrets are the least frequent or the most rare. Therefore, Arthur hates them the most of all the egrets. And checking our inventory looks like we are low on reddish egrets. Taking the trail between Bridge 1 and 2 will become really tedious with the random kidnappings, horse race challenges, oleander poison victims, dead horse ladies, and night folk attacks that you will inevitably encounter, and Arthur has a shortcut that he will show you in real time. Yeah. <laughs> 
You will have to watch out for trains, of course, but you can hear them coming and they are easy enough to avoid. Hey, you're okay, girl. And here is another reddish egret location for you. This location is not as consistent as Bridge 1 and Bridge 2, but it can't hurt to check it out. Yep. And the map, northeast of the second R in Kamasa River. And here is your exact location. Another little egret at bridge 2 which we do not need but Arthur couldn't help himself. And then the red mist descended and he went on a bit of a spree. And a three-star alligator, Arthur calmed down a bit and shot near his tail to move him along and preserve his coat. <laughs> and finally, the last reddish egret at Bridge 2. And here is your exact location. Also, some spoonbills. Really hope the camp enjoys Mr. Pearson's gamey bird stew special because that is what they are going to be eating for the next week. And checking our mission brief. Duchesses and other animals. Algernon Wasp, a fashion designer and collector of exotic flora and fauna, asks for assistance in tracking down some rare items for several commissions. And you can see we have all the egrets Algernon requires.
Egrets, to quote Wikipedia, are herons, which have white or buff plumage and develop the fine plumes, usually milky white, during the breeding season. Also note that egrets are not a biologically distinct group from the herons and have the same build. So essentially, egrets are fancy herons. Also note that there are a variety of egrets, including the cattle egret and the Chinese egret. Really happy Algernon never heard of those jokers. As stated earlier, we will be picking flowers in a forthcoming video. This one was all about egrets. It is tedious and a bit of a grind, however, Arthur collected all of the egrets he needed in approximately two hours of real time. Lots of save and reloads and exit reloads were involved to get the aforementioned locations to respawn, but if you are patient and handy with a repeater, you will be just fine. This video is sponsored by viewers like you. Consider joining the channel and becoming a member for deputy badges by your name, custom emoticons in the premiere chats, end credits in every video, and daily members only community posts featuring my random musings on life, TV and movie reviews, and exclusive photos. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I have Appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content. We shall meet again. Further on down the trail. You're an adventurer. Oh, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven. <sighs> sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do exceptionally well. Now I am a prisoner in the Stillwater Jail I lie.